Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Matthews. I'm here at Montclair State University in the Exercise Science Lab to show you how to use a Monarch Ergometic 828E exercise bike. So this is very similar to a lot of the other versions of their exercise bikes out there. The ones that are um, going to be most different from this are the ones that aren't going to have this pendulum weight, the ones that are going to have a, a drop basket weight. So as long as you have one with a pendulum weight, it's going to be pretty similar to this setup. All right, so these bikes are designed to be moved very easily. And so they have these wheels here on the front that are going to allow the bike to be moved without dragging it across the floor. In order to use those wheels and to move the bike, you simply put your foot on it, on the, uh, the bar that stabilizes the, the bike, and then you bring it forward. And that puts the weight onto the wheels so it can easily be moved back and forth or be turned into a different direction. All right, so one of the adjustments you have to do every time is make sure that the seat height is correct. So what you're looking for is about a um, 5 to 10 degree angle of the knee when the foot pedal is at the very bottom of the movement. So in order to adjust the seat height, you're going to take this blue bolt here and you're just going to screw it and it's going to come all the way out. And so it's an actual bolt, so you literally want to take this bolt completely out, and then you can adjust the seat height either up or down, and make sure that when you go to put it back in, that you get it into a hole, and that you just screw it back in all the way. Alright, so when you're adjusting the seat height, if you're going to use this bike more than one time for the same person, you can simply look at the numbers here on the shaft of the bicycle seat, and you can replicate the seat height in the future so that you don't have to go through a trial and error process, which is really what it is adjusting the seat height. It's always going to be a trial and error seeing if it's too high or too low. Alright, so adjust the resistance on this bike. It's this blue knob here that's going to be facing the participant. And essentially, if you just turn it to the right, it gets um, harder. If you turn it to the left, it gets less, uh, uh, less challenging. And so when you're doing this, the person has to be cycling. So if I'm turning this knob now, you're going to notice this pendulum doesn't move at all. You are turning the resistance up by turning it when nobody's pedaling, but it doesn't show on the dial. So it only shows the resistance when somebody's actually pedaling. So it's best not to adjust the resistance like I'm doing now because you have no way of knowing where you are within the sort of range of resistance. Right, you can also adjust the foot strap itself. So there's a little um, adjustment on the side that can be done. You simply um, sort of wiggle it and stretch it over top of the um, edge of this little blue sort of pin or whatever you want to call that and you put it around a bigger or smaller strap. So this isn't something that gets adjusted all that often. Most people just kind of use it without bothering with the foot strap. Um, but if you want to be able to use the foot strap, that's how you do the adjustment. All right, so the last adjustment that you can do is to change the angle of these handlebars. Um, it's not something that all the bikes do very well. This is the one part of the Monarch bikes, uh, at least this model, that I don't think is uh, designed all that well. Um, but what you do is you just turn this blue knob here to the left. That's going to loosen it up and allow you to tilt it one way or the other. And then when you get it to the angle that you want it to be, you just turn the knob back to the right and screw it in until it's tight. And then the handlebars will stay wherever you put them. All right, so this is what the screen of the Monarch bike looks like. You can easily see there in the bottom left-hand side a KP or the resistance. That resistance is not a resistance that you want to use typically because it's not always calibrated perfectly. You can also see here the RPMs. If you have a polar heart rate monitor attached, you're going to see the heart rate. You're going to see how long the person's been pedaling, the speed of the pedaling, the um, distance they've gone, and then some other adjustable parameters if it's set up to calculate resistance on its own. All right, so that was a really quick overview of how to use one of these Monarch bikes. So they're really great for doing a lot of different exercise tests. The reason why most people like these bikes is they're super durable. And because it uses this pendulum style weight, the calibration is very hard to kind of mess up. It, it comes calibrated and it tends to stay within its, its normal calibration. So if you have any questions about this, you can go ahead and put those uh, questions in the comments below and I'll try to answer those as quickly as I can. Um, otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.